Fans of the Tiny Amp, I've already reviewed the Spirit of Vintage, so if you want massive bitching about a couple of shortcomings of the series, please watch that video. I will only bitch about it minor here, because, you know, at some point, it's all bitched out. Houston Kettner has... Oh, show them. Come on, Vanessa. Vanessa's switching. There you go. Spirit of Rock. It's right there. It's a Ableger, as we say in German. It's a um, spin-off of the Black Spirit 200, which we have glowing right there. Big as amp, four channels, effects, MIDI, Bluetooth, all that stuff. Well, they took the rock channel from that, or probably the lead channel. I don't know which channel they took. And uh, made it into a tiny amp. And that's what we have on the table right there. That's the, the Spirit of Rock. We have Master, that's level. We have Gain, which is clear. We have Tone, which is... We'll find out, uh, you know, if that's a high frequency roll off or if it does a little bit more like on the spirit of vintage. And then we have sagging, which if you ask me, uh, is a knob we shouldn't have because it does very little. It simulates the power amp sag of tube amps, where if you have more sagging, you're pushing the tube amp with more volume. Therefore, the power amp tubes are kind of getting denser, compress more. I would call it a little bit more fizzly. They respond less and are not as fast to respond, but it gets you a very dense kind of thick sound. Um, is that really something you want to play around with all the time? I don't know how effective it is. They want to make you feel and think that you can get the tube sounds with this transistor technology because what it is is a transistor amp um the spirit tone generator uh, filled with leprechaun jizz or whatever i don't know what it is 
um, they're saying it's a magical thing. We can't talk about it. It's a transistor amp. It's just a really, really good one. Another shortcoming to me is the lack of the effects loop. This amp has quite a bit of gain. And if you want to put a time-based effects delay and reverb with it, yeah, you can do that in the DAW after you recorded it, fine. You can ask the guy in the front of house to put it on the on the mix console, fine. But, but what about the stuff on your pedal board? You can't use it. Because if you put it in front of the amp, it gets into the distortion, which means it gets ultra compressed. All that stuff comes up, your nice delay trails are all loud. It doesn't work, especially with the gain that this amp has. So it's absolutely missing an effects loop. It's missing an effects loop even more than the spirit of vintage. So this is a one channel drive power house. That's what it is. And with 50 watts at four ohm, completely pointless because who of you has a four ohm cab? Well, almost nobody. I have never seen one. I know they exist, but I haven't seen one. I know old Fender amps at four ohm. You probably have eight or 16 and at eight ohms it's 25 watts. However, that is still loud enough to survive in a band. It's a pretty powerful little amp at 199 euro, 249 dollars. If you play modern, listen to me. The wind, I hear the wind. Um, if you play modern rock, that's the thing. If you play classic rock, get the spirit of vintage. The spirit of vintage has quite a bit of gain. This doesn't have not quite a bit of gain. It's all, all, all gain all the time, if you ask me. Um, so for modern rock, yes, even for metal. I think this has all the gain you need for metal. I don't quite know why there is even a metal amp. We'll find out. So we're going to go into sounds. Uh, going into the aux, which of course I know is a, bit, a little bit weird. I'm using a 1300 euro IR loader load box to demo this, but the result is the same as actually miking a cab. Any of you non-believers out there, it is exactly the same. If I mic a cab well, what I get is what you're going to hear. Okay, so I'm using a 412 cream back loaded cab because that's kind of rocky. Uh, we're going to use a V30 for the metal amp. And here we go with gain low. That rhymes. Oh, uh, phones out, by the way, with frequency compensated cab out. A little bit noisy. Um, so on the phones, you get the frequency compensation that the Tubemeister 18 had, which is okay. Uh, they improved their Redbox technology since then, but did not put it in here. Then there's a line out, which is not frequency compensated. That's great. You can go into audio interface and actually apply IRs later. So that is straight DI. Aux in to jam with your favorite tracks. AES to turn the uh, built-in power, uh, cons uh, power uh, save off, because this will turn off if you don't use it for a while. Speaker out that you can see. 4 to 16 ohms, 25 watts at 8, and then the power in from the power supply, which is almost as big as the amp itself. I'm using this Harley Benton uh, Tribute Series, I think it's the EX, clocks in at, what, 349 or 299, something like this. Set neck, volute, locking tuners, uh, this is a really good Explorer, so Gibson can suck it. Actually, Epiphone can suck it. At that price, get the Harley Benton. Now, actually, well, I got paid to make the video, but I got to keep the guitar, but I'm not being paid to say this. Ha! <laughs> is more rock and roll than major seven arpeggios. Maybe there are a couple things more rock and roll than major seven arpeggios. So 
yes, you can get it clean if you really had to. Oh, more, more mids over here. That's nice. More high end and buy it here. More mid scooped, so it's not a high end roll off, it's actually doing more. So, at that clean setting, I could use some delay and reverb in front of the amp. How does it work with an overdrive? We're gonna put the fat B in front of it. Disclosure, the fat B is 30 bucks more than the amp. So, realistically, you probably wouldn't use a fat B with that. Ah, who knows? Who knows? You, might, you might. I like these sounds. They work, okay? So in a pinch, you could use that to record some clean stuff and work with pedals. In the track that you heard at the beginning, uh, that my buddy Alex Fuerza sang, uh, I used clean sounds from that amp. But you're gonna notice really, really quickly, look at this. Gain gets way too much. I think the, 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 the gain structure should be just slightly more, slightly more, go through martially things, go through JCME kind of territory. It right now, this is already JCM-ish maximum. So I got clean here. And then JCM Maximum. It's a really good rock and roll sound. I wish I had more detail on the gain knob because from now on, it's just more and more and more and more. Check this out. So the, we have the noise and the low end came up in a, in a too much way. And how much How? I want a humbugger, by the way, okay? Uh, it's a humbugger, supposed to be no hum. Uh, how much more gain would you need? This is all the gain you would ever need. Actually, you would never need that much gain. So I'm at half the knob. I wish I could dial that in just more with more detail. So.
wouldn't it be nice to have effects on that? Well, I can't have that no effects loop. Just reiterating that, okay? Would be nice to have the lead with effect, but you can't. What? Well, bring bring the cookies. Leslie's bringing all of us cookies. She made cookies for all of us. They're vegan. They're vegan cookies. She made cookies for people that like animals. Oh. Vegans taste good. Why, why does Vanessa get all of them and I get one? Sorry, Michelle, for, for eating. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Don't. Just turn the turn the volume down. Michelle doesn't like it when you eat and talk. You shouldn't do that. It's not polite. And moving on. Um, it's too much gain. Especially for rock. I mean, where's the metal gonna go? It, it, it can only be voiced differently. So uh, this is as much as you need. So half the knob, pointless. Oh. Something and then... I don't know how it goes, but something like that. But even for that, it's too much gain. Now it's better, it's more responsive, not so... That sound is kick-ass and you never need more than that, if you ask me. So as I said in the beginning, this is an amp for modern rock. Lots of thickness for the Nickelback sounds, if you want. Uh, not for the classic rocky stuff. You'd have to go way back on the gain, and you're literally only using a third of the gain knob or maybe a quarter. Um, if you want the more real classic rocky stuff or rock sounds, then Spirit of Vintage is really where you should go. I, I just think, I think this is great, but they shouldn't have called it rock. Again, what is rock? Baby, don't hurt me. Get it? No. Um, let's look at SAG. We have to. Okay, here we go. Gate would have been nice using Ketna. I mean, it's 200 bucks. Come on, okay, I get it. I gate it, huh? <laughs>
So at that level, the sagging is bringing up all the noise. It also cut down my low end because it's compressing so much. So right now, not so much heft actually. <laughs> So right there is where it's pretty much perfect, if you ask me. And realistically, using Kettner, put it there, set and forget, and don't give me a sag knob, give me a low end knob, give me a, I don't know, give me maybe mids and high and a bass knob, or maybe give me a high end roll off and a mids knob, or something like, I think something else that's more useful to the average guy than the sag knob. Sound though, when it comes to high gain rock, it's pretty phenomenal for 199 bucks. If that's all it does, holy hell. Go into your audio, uh, uh, audio, what's that thing? Audio interface with the line out, put an IR on it. Uh, Lancaster Audio has uh, Pulse, which is their loader, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, and then there's uh, Fairmageddon or F A I R Mageddon from Forward Audio. There's a bunch of IR loaders, put your, of course, wall of sound from two notes, put your favorite cap on there and you're good to go and it's 200 bucks. And this is the thing, free IR loader software is free, so zero dollars. This is about 300 bucks and that's 200. So for 500 to 550, including the audio interf 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 interface, which you might already have, you could get those tones, which is pretty impressive because you can record that and not look back and be pretty happy. So, yeah, okay, I'm using the ox right now, but come on. Well, there is a speaker compensated headphone out. Let's see what you could record with that. Don't even need an IR. Let's see how, how good that is. Okay, well that works. Uh, so you could rather easily record those tones. What you just heard, you can record with a simple audio interface, uh, use the headphone out, it's already speaker compensated. Um, relatively inexpensive guitar, you can get pretty damn good results. Can we expect everything I'm asking for? Effects loop, no sag knob, which is really the thing I bitch about, for 200 bucks? Realistically, at 200 euro, I can't think of an amp that is that usable. Yeah, they're nice practice amps. Yeah, there's something you can in a pinch, you will use, blah, blah, blah. This with a load box like the Ox, uh, actually this in a studio situation, I'm pretty sure if I sent this to Glenn Fricker and Glenn put it through his paces, he wouldn't use the hammer of truth on it. I don't think he would because this recorded works. You heard it in the beginning. This on a cab with a mic in front of it, that works. If you have a big ass amp, if you have an angle or whatever, or any of those uh, for your mega rock sounds and it fails, I mean, an angle shouldn't fail, uh, but let's say it does. Having the spirit of rock 
can help you in a life situation. You don't want to carry the big thing. Carry that. Because it literally is, the, these things weigh nothing. You can have that. <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. <laughs> um, they, they, you can, I could carry that in my teeth if it had a handle for teeth. But uh, you can get that. Put a tooth handle on that. I, I don't know. I'm losing it. Sound good. I think it could be gooder in a couple of aspects and then it would be the perfect mini amp. Of course, we all know. What do we want? Hmm, when do we want it now? We want it in a pedal form. Who needs the mini head? I know it's cute, but it makes it look like a toy. If you had it in a pedal format, boom, bam! Now we're talking. Now we're talking, Jason Kettner. Where's the pedal one? I know you're working on that. Why not just release it? Why not just give it what we want? Why make us buy these so that then later we go like, oh, no, they have a pedal version. We know you're working on this. So you might as well have released it instead of these little tiny looking cutesy heads. It's coming. I'm pretty sure next year you could buy. If you're waiting for the pedal one, don't buy this. Wait. Don't play their game. Don't make, don't buy both of them. Don't buy the mini head because you can't wait and then show them that they should release the things we want right away instead of doing the Apple thing. Oh, now it's 20 megapixel. In two years, the camera has 20.7 megapixel. When we all know they have the 40 megapixel camera already sitting there. Apple's doing that. Using Ketna, don't be Apple. It's a kick-ass amp. It sounds great. I wish it was more rock and not metal. I wish the gain knob was more detailed than it is. I wish the sag knob was just set to one thing internally and actually give me a more useful knob on the outside. Blah, blah, blah. But realistically, 199 bucks. It's kick-ass. It's loud. It rocks. Uh, yeah. And um, it is recommend it's a recommended buy for 200 bucks. Come on. Links below. If you use my links, that helps me. That does pay me a commission. So thank you. If you do that, you don't have to, but it supports the channel. Uh, they are affiliate links. That's what that's called. Um, and this is an unpaid video. Using Petner. Using use Petner? Hmm? Who's using Petner? Using Ketner doesn't pay me for this. I did get the amps, uh, which is nice. I mean, I have the black... I, don't, I have three little amps now. And um, thanks, Vanessa, for switching. Please support me on Patreon. Uh, follow me on Instagram. That really helps. Uh, and uh, Facebook, it doesn't hurt you at all. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it, it shows the companies I work with that I have a little bit more reach, which really, really helps me. So please find me there. Uh, links in the end uh, where there's also animals. Animals. <laughs>